Hey guys, in this video we are going to learn how can you get the computer name? How can you get which operating system is installed? Can you get is it x64 or is it a 32 bit? Right? Can you get me the physical memory size of the computer through batch script? All these interesting things we are going to learn in this video. So let's move on to our screen and let's get started. All right, so we have to pull lot many informations. To pull all this information, you have to know a simple command. For that, open your command prompt and simply type system info. Okay, this is the command which is responsible to have you know hold all the required information of your computer, starting from your computer name. For example, on the top, what it says host name is nothing but your computer name. Okay, it's known as host name. Then you have the OS information, you have uh, you know, all different information that is needed. So in this example, we are very specific what we need. So we have to start writing the command. So let's do it. Let me write echo off and let me put a color, let's say E and then, okay. And then uh, the actual command which is required is system information. Okay, system info. And then the system info will have lot many information, but we are very specific as to what we need. For example, what is the OS name? What is the computer name? Okay. So what we will do, you, we will use the pipe symbol. What is the meaning of pipe symbol? Entire information that the system info is going to throw. That entire information, the output of the previous command will be sent to the next command. Okay. That is the meaning of the pipe symbol. So what is the next command? Find str find string out of that entire string you find a specific string which i'm going to provide that is the meaning okay and this find string also has a couple of parameters or switches you can call so help if you say find str hit on enter okay so if you see there is a switch called um or um, no for uh, forward slash c then you have to write the string what you like to search what is the meaning of this uses specified string as a literal search string literal means what how you have written exactly the same way if it is there is a capital letter exactly the same way it has to be written if there is a single space it has to be only a single space literal literally okay so that is the meaning so how to use that let's see it it's quite simple okay simply say c and then put a colon mark you can write it in uppercase lowercase doesn't matter in batch script so go go ahead and do that and then i have to write the exact string i would like to search out of the stream of information so what we need here we need the host name right so what we will do we have to write that exact way okay host name i would like to search so i will simply put the host name here and this has got a space so i have to put that in double quotes getting it that simple it is if i hit on if i write pause and if i'm going to run this particular um, script you can see it is started loading the system information okay it will take some time and finally the output has appeared which is saying the computer name is rakesh pc getting it okay now let's do the same thing for all other things for example i would like to know what is the os name what is the os version that is being installed right what is the system type so let's quickly do that all you have to do is simply copy it and then i'm going to paste it paste it paste it paste it enter paste it enter paste it okay in the uh, one one after the other in the below line i'm pasting so what is the first name first thing i need host name i got it uh, next thing what i need is i need the os name so simply copy paste copy from here go to your script and replace the host name with the os name got it now let's get os version also so we are very specific what we need rather than we we don't need all the information let's say i want only specific information this is how you can do it if you need all it's fine uh, os version okay then i need what uh, system type okay what is system type system type so let's do that system type and then uh, system model also i need so i'll say system model and then what i need bios model okay let's say bios bios version right bios okay let's have this bios version 
okay and uh, you know whatever the useful information that you need simply get that i'm going to copy it one more time and i need the total physical memory okay so the uh, so that you don't make a mistake it's better to copy from here so that you don't make a mistake and another thing after writing c do not give a space okay because it's literal it is going to not really fetch the information so exactly you have to write this way so once this is done let's save it this is also another thing what if you would like to pass all this information to a text file you want to store it in a text file that also can be done okay so let me save it uh, first of all let's run it okay So if you see it started loading and we'll wait for all those information that we wanted to really see not everything but exact things that I need to see I have written the code in that way so I got the host name I got the OS name I got, got the OS version I got the BIOS version I got the system type system model okay. okay bias version has come twice okay total physical memory so all this information has appeared now i would like to pass it to a text file let's say so how that can be done do you know all you have to do is simply write like this and whatever your text file you would like to create it will automatically create in it's it's not there okay so let's just sys one dot txt okay so let me copy this paste 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 okay simply go ahead and paste it and save it now let's quickly run this once again okay just wait for it to complete what would happen this time the output won't appear on the command prompt rather it would go to the um, uh, text file okay give it a few seconds okay press any key to continue turn enter so this this got executed now you can see this is a file got created called sys1 do you see automatically it got created now if you open this you would see all the required information has appeared on your file okay so this is quite interesting isn't it you got required information onto a notepad file this will be pretty useful practically also so thank you guys for watching let's move on to our next video and continue the learning thank you bye bye